Hey again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to go over some of my sales for last week. Um, it's going to be for the week of August 30th through September 2nd. That'll be Monday through Thursday and then I'm going to do another one that's just for my weekend sales Friday through Sunday. Um, it was a little bit slower than I think the previous week, but I did make you know, some good sales that I wanted to share with you. All right, so let me get this started. All right, if you're new to my channel, um, I have been selling on eBay for 22 years, and I do sell a whole lot of stuffed animals. Um, I really like to sell more of the vintage stuff, but I will sell pretty much anything. I have branched out into other things over the years, and most um, recently we have started selling clothes. Um, but my first and foremost love will always be for stuffed animals. And that's a lot of my sales because I have about almost 8,000 items listed and probably 5,000 of that is stuffed animals or um, baby toys, um, baby blankets, that kind of stuff. But um, also, as we go through these items, just keep in mind I do not charge uh, do not do free shipping I do charge shipping for everything so when I say that this item sold sold for this amount then that will not include the shipping all right let's get started this first item I actually think I featured this in one of my previous hauls I found this colonial Williamsburg hotch potch cloth doll um I had found this larger one and then um in my I have a huge death pile. In my death pile, I knew that I had this smaller one. So I went ahead and made it into a lot and I did sell it for the $19.95. There's girls, there's other characters. There's several of these characters. All right, Christmas sells all year long, but we are heading into the Christmas season and I have sold a lot of these um, Wonder Shop knit stockings. Um, we bought all of these at Finders Keepers. Actually, the first weekend it ever opened it was the best weekend that they've ever had, it seems. We've gone back several times since, and we pick up a few things, mostly for personal use, but nothing like that first weekend that we went. Um, but we did pick up everything that day for a dollar. We bought stockings and puzzles and backpacks and binders. We spent I want to say close to $200 that weekend. Um, but I did sell this stocking for $11.66. This is a Spark Create Imagine plush dog. I picked this up um, at one of our thrift stores. It was fill a bag for $10. And I, I think I bought two or three bags that weekend stuffed. And Somehow they had been given all of these um, Spark Create Imagine plush, and I did end up selling this one for $11.66. If you see me look that way, I have a little cheat sheet here because what's on the screen isn't always what it actually sold for. This is a Charm Company Brown Bear. I find this brand every once in a while. It is vintage. This was from the 1980s. Um, and I did end up selling it for $17.95. It's just a very, it reminds me of like Dakin and Applause, just that type of quality. And they're usually very cute. I think this one must have had a dress at some point because it did have a little ribbon in its hair, ear. This next item is American Eagle Cutoff skirt. I think at some point these were shorts or pants and somebody cut them so short that they were a skirt. But my husband picked these up and he sent me a picture. Well, he didn't realize he had sent it in a group text message that included a couple of friends and he got a big chuckle out of it because they were wondering why he was sending pictures of these very short, distressed jeans. But I went ahead and I got them listed. I think he paid maybe a dollar or less at a yard sale and I ended up selling them for the $13.21. But what was funny, I kept sending offers out on these for like $12, $11, $10, and then it sold 
at the price that it was currently on sale for. So I truly believe sending out offers does something to the algorithm and many, many, many times my item sells, but not at the offer price, at the price that it is listed for. So, next item. This is a, I always say Busilla. I don't know if it's Busilla, Busilla, but this is felt ornament craft kit. I picked it up somewhere along the way at a yard sale. I don't remember specifically. Normally, I pay $3 or less on these. But I ended up selling this set for best offer of $25. This was kind of a surprise. This is Wowie. I have found lion cubs and um, like leopard cubs. I forget some of the other ones. But they're just these little animated plush. And when you like touch a button or something, they make baby animal sounds. Um, I could not find any anything on this one. It is, I would assume, a little cat or a kitten of some type. Um, dated 2009. Couldn't find anything, so I just went ahead and listed it high. Um, and it was not listed very long, and I ended up selling it for the $53.95. Just, let me see if I can, right there. Look how cute that is. But, I couldn't find nothing, nowhere. Always go high if you don't know. This is Granimals. I like this brand. I try to find the plush a lot of times because some of the plush sell for quite well. This was a baby blanket with the airplane and the Zoom words on it. I think I picked it up um, either at a yard sale or at a consignment sale. Probably paid a couple of dollars for it and I ended up selling it for the $13.45. It was listed a while. My husband picked these dishes up somewhere along the way. I do not remember, but we have been selling dish sets by individual pieces. So this was the cereal bowls to that set, and I ended up selling um, two of the plates for $12, plates, bowls for $12.52. This is, I think I just recently um, featured this in a haul. This is a Carter's Blue Elephant. It had the navy blue stripes in its ears. I think even at the time I thought that it might be something more than just my normal eight to ten dollar lovies. And I ended up selling it for fifteen dollars and ninety five cents. I think within the same week that I listed it. I bought this um, at an estate sale. This hat was actually on a stuffed animal and I bought it for the hat and I've had it listed for a little while and I ended up taking a best offer of $10 and sold it. It's um, Care Bears from 2004. It's a little bit of a glare there but it's that grumpy grumpy bear or bedtime bear. He looks grumpy but I think he's bedtime bear. No, take that back. He's grumpy bear. This is another Spark Create Imagine. This one was animated and musical, um, and I don't remember. I'll say that a lot. I buy so much. Some things stick in my brain, and then some things, if I've bought it in a bundle, I may not remember how much I paid for it. But um, I'd say on average, um, I pay about a dollar for each plush that I purchase. And then sometimes I pay a quarter, sometimes I pay more. But I ended up selling this elephant for the $17.95. This is a Kelly Toy Rabbit. It's just an odd shape. I've picked this up a couple of times in different colors. It's very, it's only like eight inches tall and it's just got these long ears and then the paws or legs are like right in front of it, just odd shaped. But I ended up selling it for $13.45. But Kelly Toy, I pick it up. Sometimes it's, you know, in my $8 to $10 range, and sometimes it's more. This was a surprise. I picked this up, I believe, at an estate sale. I want to say I paid 3 or $5 for it. I just know if it's Pottery Barn, um, I usually will look it up. I think I had seen somebody else had this listed for, like, I think it was the $99. And... 
I went ahead and picked it up um, just because, you know, even if that wasn't a realistic price, you know, obviously it's got some kind of value to it. But I've had it listed since July when I purchased it, and I ended up taking a best offer of $75. And all it is is these this Christmas garland that looks like these red jewels. So, 60 inches, 5 feet long. Pottery Barn. This is a Dimensions craft kit, cross stitch. I think this is one of the ones that I pay. I bought, I want to say, nine kits for $50. And I immediately sold one of the kits for like $140. So I was way in the profit. Um, I ended up taking a best offer on this kit for $25. This. I had to use Google Lens. I just couldn't quite figure out who it was. Um, but it's Teen Titans Go Jinx plush. And I ended up list selling her for $15.25. It's from that the Funko toy line. But it's plush. This is a Leapfrog Learn and Groove microphone. It does Spanish and English um, words. I pick these up. Usually I get this type of stuff at the bins where I'm just, you know, paying by the pound and I'm just going to grab a whole lot of littles. And um, then I either lot them with other things that are similar or usually I buy them basically just to put on Facebook because I sell them usually better on Facebook. But I did end up selling this on eBay and I sold it for $11.66. I've sold quite a few um, more curriculums. Um, I listed a whole bunch. We picked up some at two different uh, yard sales or and one it was at a thrift store and I ended up selling this lot for best offer of $19 but I sold several this past week. This was from our online auction. This was a red teddy bear but it was advertising for casual corner clothing store. It I've had it for a while because it was dirty and I was afraid if I washed it in with normal stuff that it would, you know, fade all over everything. But I ended up washing it with some darker things and it didn't. And I listed it and it, I went low. I, I've mentioned this before. I do a whole lot of things at $9.95, sometimes $7.95. But um, I went ahead and listed it at $9.95 and the next week when it went on sale, I ended up selling it for the $8.96. So it was a very quick sell. My husband picked this up at an estate sale. I think she charged us $3 for it. It is just a denim um, backpack that had just all this embroidered accents and everything on it. It did have some wear and it did have some discoloration, which I showed in the pictures. It was listed for a while and it was another one of those things I kept sending offers out on. Um, I think I got down to like $25 offers, and then it sold for $29.66. This is some of the brass that we picked up. A couple, well, it's been a little while. We did a haul on just a bunch, a lot of brass that we picked up at two different um, places. But I lotted these three little etched vase things together, and I ended up selling them for best offer of $20. This is a baby gap, baby blanket. Uh-oh, I don't know what that is. Um, I'm pretty sure I picked this up at a yard sale. I probably paid a dollar or two dollars for it, and I ended up selling it for the $22.45. I do really well with baby blankets. The baby gap, Carter's of course, another one called um, baby gear, there's several. I don't really do um, a lot of that muslin or linen type. They just seem, most people sell them for way more than I want to pay. And they just, a lot of times, seem dingy. So I just, I stay away from them. But these very thick, nice cotton blankets, um, I do pick up. If the blanket has like the Sherpa backing, if it's new, I'll pick it up, but a lot of times after they've been washed, they just have a whole lot of wear, so I don't normally pick them up. But I like baby blankets, and they're so easy to um, store and ship. 
Okay, this next item is, I featured this recently in a haul. These are called better blocks and you can use them with Legos and Duplos and any of those other type building blocks. Um, they have a little bit of movement to them. They seem to be quite popular. I did list them at $19.95, but I ended up selling them on a best offer. I think almost the same day I listed them for $14.95. This is a model street light. And probably two summers ago, I came upon a, an estate sale and they were selling a bunch, a ton of already made models, you know, houses and stuff for villages uh, and a lot of boxed ones that had never been made. I ended up, I think, paying $100 for everything. And there were some of these. They were none of them were made in America. They were almost all of them. They had been purchased in Europe, and I I was selling some of the kits for like over fifty dollars. I sold some of the models already pre-made for over a hundred dollars. Um, but I am down to like one or two things left, and this was one of the things. Um, it's just a little street light that could be um, wired so that it actually works in these little, I guess, you know, the trains and everything. But I took a best offer. No, I sent an offer of $20 out and they accepted it. So I'm down to like one or two things left. It's just, it was a very good purchase. I featured these in a haul. Robert went to a church sale and picked up a whole bunch of Geotrax trains. Um, I have sold, I think, all but one of the tr remote controls and then I went ahead and lotted some of the buildings and the tracks and everything together in small lots. And I, and I did sell this for best offer of $12. Um, I made sure, this is just something to keep in mind when you're selling larger things, if you want to do lots. I made sure that all the lots that I made would fit in a um, large priority box. I didn't want anything that would go bigger than that because it's just easier to ship and you don't have to worry about dimensional weight. So I made sure that each lot would fit in that box and then I had no problems because the more shipping, the harder it is to sell this type of stuff. All right, last eBay item was another vintage Christmas stocking. I did sell these for $9.86. I think they were probably homemade. Um, somebody you know, quilted these probably for grandkids or whatever. I just, I, I love to pick up this type of stuff and it wasn't listed very long. I think I bought it sometime this summer. So it did finally sell. I have a feeling a lot of my Christmas stuff is going to start selling. It's, it's time kids are in school and parents are going to start focusing on Christmas. All right. I have my last four things were Facebook sales. I didn't have any bonanza this week. So the first thing is, um, I showed, I had bought a, a bunch of dollhouse um, furniture and a dollhouse a couple of weeks ago, and then I made these small lots of the, the furniture, and I did end up selling this dining room set with the baby furniture for $26 on Facebook. This is an American Girl dress, and I'm pretty sure the boots were American Girl, although there were no tags, but I had seen something similar. Um, but I ended up selling this on Facebook also for $11. I bought a whole, I think, bag of doll clothes. And this was in there. Not all of it was American Girl. Most of it was not. Um, I think I paid $2 for it. And I did sell just this outfit so far for $11. I've featured these several times in some of my um, what solds. I went to an estate sale and bought... A huge lot of these Burger King Pokemon Pokeballs. They were all still sealed, I think, except for one. I paid a quarter each, and I have been selling them anywhere between $15 and $18 each. And I, I've still probably got half of what I listed, but I did sell this for $15. And then this is a Lovey by Douglas. It was a baby fox. Um, I probably paid a dollar or two for it, and I ended up selling it on Facebook for $12. All right, so that's everything that sold for Monday through Thursday of last week. Um, it was 
it was a good week still and um, I just know I've been very busy trying to get stuff listed and trying to do the videos and because it's going to start getting really busy I, I just my gut tells me this is going to be an online shopping Christmas again this year so all right please like and subscribe um, I'm working diligently on trying to get some of the videos that I promised like the cleaning it's just been crazy here the sourcing is still going crazy and I need to make time and I promise I'm going to get to it real soon but um, thanks 